Okay, today we've got Maria and she's had an ACL reconstruction, but the interesting thing about this one is she's had an allograft, so meaning she hasn't got an ACL of her own, um, she hasn't had a hamstring graft of her own, she's had someone else's tissue. Now the interesting thing about this as well is it's not been a hamstring graft from a donor, it's been a tibialis anterior. So this muscle here, so come and look at this one, if you can see, see this tendon here, the tibialis anterior tendon, see how thick that is? So she's had from someone else's body, she's had that tendon grafted off a, like a dead person if you like, and that has been drilled into her knee for her ACL rather than taking her hamstrings. And the reason they did that is because her hamstrings are not very big, so they're not very thick hamstrings, so if we grafted those hamstrings they wouldn't be thick enough to make an ACL, and so they've had to take tibialis anterior. Of course they don't want to take her tibialis anterior, otherwise she'll have foot drops if they're taking a donor side. And that's worked really, really well. Now, what I wanted to show you, so that's, she is nearly a week? No, four days. She's four days post-surgery now. Yeah. Yeah. And she's doing really well. So she's got hardly any swelling. You can see in this, there's, just, there's not much going on there, which is great. She's got, she hasn't got full passive knee extension because we're working on that. But I can get passive knee extension with her, with a little bit of a push, which is great. So she has got the mechanical ability of it. Um, and this is where we go, okay, we need to get your VMO going. We need to get this working, get this switched on. When she squeezes for me, just squeeze for me, Maria. Come and have a look at this one. Just try and squeeze that for me. See how she's not, she's not really achieving it. Now that's a bit of a problem because, and the reason that's not working is it's deactivated from the surgery. You know, like her brain is just not switching that on. So because she can't get that going, she can't get that full extension. Okay, she can get the extension if we stretch it, but she needs to get active extension. So what I'm gonna do is sneak her into week two exercises and get her doing a VMO race. Now it's very crucial that with this exercise we don't get her doing a straight leg race because because she's got a lag, so because she's got she hasn't got full extension. If she l tries to raise her leg, she's going to get some shearing force through that knee, and we don't want that. So what she's only allowed to do is do an extension by trying to push the knee down into the towel first. So just do that for me, Maria. Yeah, and then she holds that down, and then she tries to raise the heel, and when she does that, she's getting a lot more. See that tone there now? So we've got some tone in that VMO which is way more effective than her just pushing it in. But it's done with caution. It needs to be making sure that she does not raise that leg up because the first thing people try and do when they squeeze it quite is try and lift the whole leg off the floor and that will put that ACL jibby. So it needs to be done with good guidance about lots of pressure down and then trying to think about a little raise here. She doesn't even have to lift the heel. She just needs to make sure that that's what she's like. You can look at that tone, that's great. Amazing. Yeah, it's cool. And then her flexion is really good. And it's quite surprising. Um, she's obviously had a very good surgeon, Dr. Bro, because he's actually um, done some other surgery in there. We, they've had, if you just bend your knee for me, right? When she did her injury, because of the impact of the femur into the tibia, and when she's torn her ACL, she's lost a little bit of cartilage on the tibia, so the surface of the tibia, and she broke a bit off and they had to take that out. Now obviously there's a deficit in that cartilage and they've had a microfracture and drill in there to bring out some bleeding and some scarring over that. So she's had quite a decent surgery in there, which means she's had to be on these for six weeks, right? And normally it's like two weeks nearly off them, but she's on for six. So she's going to be a little bit behind in the weight bearing side of things at the six week mark. So we've got to focus really hard on the range. And already she's day four and look at this. That's, that's quite amazing. She's past 90 degrees, which is fantastic. And it's because she's been doing her homework. So uh, check out the next one. We'll look at her um, doing some more exercises.